सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो वी नो दैट बाबा एटोमिक रिसर्च सेंटर बार्क हैव शॉर्ट लिस्टेड द कैंडिडेट फॉर द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ सिलेक्शन दैट इज इंटरव्यू एंड दैट इज द डोमिनेटिंग स्टेज फॉर द सिलेक्शन एंड योर एंटायर सिलेक्शन विल बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस इन द इंटरव्यू सी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन डिफरेंस हेयर फर्स्ट दैट इफ सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और साइंटिफिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज डूइंग द final recruitment only on the basis of your performance in the interview it means you need to put more amount of efforts as compared to other interviews and there will be technical concept which will be asked in well depth so now the question is sir how many subjects they will ask i have taken one here genuine bark experience with me here i will try to explain with you people what should be your mindset being a fresher or being a person who have prepared only for the gate exam see it's not like that how much hour you are putting into preparation there are two important things the very first is you need to choose subject very wisely what is the meaning of that that i will discuss and second thing is that whatever number of days you are left with you need to utilize those days in preparing or doing mastering in that area which is missing or which actually you haven't prepared when you was doing a written exam preparation see when you will start your interview they will ask you to write any four to five subject in which you are comfortable so being a graduate from electronics and communication obviously the core subjects which are mostly asked all the gate syllabus including some of the microwave and radar equation and bit of microprocessor and microcontroller if it is used in your project so the point is sir what is the meaning of doing the wise selection of subject see many times student believe that if they are good in solving the numericals of some subject that is their favorite subject but i don't think so see the subject which i love to read any time which i enjoy without any burden with which i can relate the real time things with which i can relate the practical aspects of the finding of the theory of the derivation whatever i have done that is basically my go to subject or favorite subject see many student believe that they are good in solving the digital electronics numerical so they start mentioning digital electronics is their subject because it's very easy to solve the numerical right there are only very few concept so but if you're going into bark interview with digital as your expertise then there are so many kind of practical application based question which are being asked see there are two things you need to remember or you need to understand one is your concept and knowledge which you believe you know really well and this is the panel basically who is interacting with you if i give you question and ask you to write the solution you will write a very good solution without hesitation because there is nobody asking you cross things you will put all your learning you will put all your concept into that but in interview we need to interact with the person some person is sitting at the other end and if he is listening our answer our answer should be relevant and he is having the right he can do cross questions and from where the cross question happen not from that they have some predefined set of cross question whatever you will tell in the interview the cross question will be from the same periphery so if i talk about digital logic gates you know uh, other kind of combinational circuit and there are many sequential circuit with flip flop what is setup time what is hold time why they are important these kind of stuff you ignore while preparing for the gate exam second thing you know pressure monitoring you know temperature monitoring there are so many iot based application or signaling based application where digital circuit find very great use for the signal signaling purpose only so how effectively you are capable of thinking whatever you have studied in the digital electronics how how effectively your transformer in interview you need to make yourself a efficient transformer how you are capable of transforming that written concept or studied concept into application solution 
how you can solve any application so like this guys you need to choose the subject second thing i want to share my experience let us do control system see many times student believe okay we are good in finding the steady state error we are good in solving the body plot graph question we are good in solving the state space variable numerical so it's our favorite subject see control system is one of the subject which can be easily related in interview with any of the real time application or real world application or practical application your interview is going inside a room fan is there that can be related to the control system ac is there that can be related to the control system temperature monitoring of that respective room itself is a control system so they can ask practical question related to that so if you believe that you are saying control system because you love to solve the numerical and you will be able to answer the each question then this should not be the wise parameter or basis to select the favorite subject if you believe you are good enough your knowledge is that much sound in the subject you can relate its concept and observation with the real world practical things then that is your go to subject you need to put that in the list <clears throat> now in control system many times we study the steady state error they ask the question which controller can be used to reduce the steady state error is it possible then you will say yes so many of you will give example an integral controller then they will ask you to demonstrate it practically take some real world application and demonstrate it practically so guys point is whatever things you have studied when you are doing your btech or when you are preparing for the gate exam concepts are not different i am not denying concept are the same thing but you must be able to transform that concept into some application solution is it clear now if i talk about the analog electronics many time i ask student what is the transconductance sir ic upon vt is the transconductance do you think this is the correct definition of transconductance because you know that is the formula which you have used in the you know small signal model or bjt to calculate the transconductance instead of this if you think wisely you draw the collector current versus base to emitter voltage transfer you know transistor characteristics and try to give some small variation on the input axis vve and see what kind of variation you are resulting in the ic in victinity of dc point if you explain like this drawing a proper graph then you don't need to tell this ic upon vt so guys the point is you need to think of practical aspects of whatever relation you know r pi base to emitter resistance but nobody very rarely student know why we need to consider this why it's coming into picture in the small signal model we study the small signal model high frequency model we know that this is the circuit diagram at small signal model we know this is the circuit diagram at the high frequency model but why why these parameter are arising when we are talking about the small signal model and why these parameter are coming into picture additional parameter okay when we are taking the high frequency model what is the importance of studying the high frequency model why we do the high frequency model analysis of bjt you need to ask yourself question you know how to find the current gain using h parameter model you know how to find the current gain by using the pi model h t model but why we are studying these model is there any difference between these two what is the small signal analysis is there any specific range on the variation or we can do it for the any range variation any amplitude variation in the signal or input signal so guys while preparing you need to ask yourself question then only you will be in the position to do a great preparations so i hope you need to choose the subject on the basis in which you are more comfortable to implement your concept to find the solution of practical problem or real world problem and that is the only thing you need to master you need to practice now if i take about this interview question see this interview experience was of one of my student so first member asked me about my native place and as i told he asked me about geographical location of my place general question right awareness question next question he asked me about my favorite subject i told him three subject of ec which include signal system digital electronics semiconductor device then he asked me to add two more subject i asked control system and network theory or i told a uh, control system and network theory then the first question they asked about percentage voltage regulation this is the first question as i answered then they ask how we can improve voltage regulation cross question next next cross question can we use diode as a voltage regulator 
वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन यूजिंग डायोड एंड जीना डायोड सी अप टू दिस पॉइंट यू ऑल विल बी कंफर्टेबल टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन बट वेन दिस पिक्चर स्टार्ट कैन वी यूज डायोड एज अ वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर Because there will be cross question that when we draw the voltage current characters of the diode using the constant voltage drop model, then the constant voltage is constant irrespective of the current. Then why we can't use this as a you know voltage regulator? This can be one of the cross question. Because you will be saying that you will be anticipating sir, Zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator, but he will try to do cross question. So you both are right, but they want the explanation. They want to know the behind story, and in cross question. you can do justice only if you know the behind picture of that concept now next question define various type of gain associated with transistor i define voltage gain current gain obviously you know basic gain you will define how can you improve the current gain of transistor the very first cross question so do you have any suggestion for those so for this question you can't rely only on your gate slavers you can't rely only on okay whatever i know i will answer that only you need to basically think instantaneously and visualize the concept now can we use bjt as a current source i said yes then he tell me to design 2 ampere 50 ohm current source as i was knowing about current mirror and i discussed this to all of them so this student is writing his own experience whatever you told him next question next they ask me about one application about pd pi and pid controller as i was trying to explain them mathematically listen carefully but they were expecting me to give practical example and they also assisted me that can you think of like lift and elevator practical design practical applications which control system is employed in these practical application again see so guys like this i have taken few question here as a example only there are many sample question it's not actually the sample question these are the real interview experiences which we have shared on our website you can visit and check there and basically i haven't not only tried to wrote the question i tried to get the entire picture in what sense the cross question was being asked so that the student who are preparing they can get a clear idea what can be the cross question from this if i answer in this way so now it's a you know high time if you are shortlisted you should start your preparation in the proper direction and choose your favorite subject wisely and start preparing the relevant content so this is the point where your pedia education is going to help you all we provide you people the proper guidance with mock interview and snap interview where you get an opportunity to get interaction with the mentor and you can get to know what is missing in your preparation if you believe that some subject you are done with so if you are looking ahead and if you are serious about this opportunity you want to give a final finish touch for your interview preparation you can join hand with your pedia education so i wish you all the best on the behalf of the your pedia education thanks a lot